Welcome to the third part of Module 2. In this presentation, you will learn the most common dairy cattle breeds of tropical and temperate bloodlines. Let us begin with the temperate breeds. The most famous of the dairy breeds is the Holstein. In fact, they have the highest milk production in the world. Holsteins are most quickly recognized by their distinctive color markings. They have a color patterns of black and white or red and white. The breed originated in Europe and major historical development has occurred in what is now called the Netherlands. However, Holsteins compared to natural breeds are not as resistant to heat and diseases. Jersey probably originated from the adjacent coast of France. Today, Jersey is the second largest breed of dairy cattle in the world. It is typically light brown in color, though this can range from being almost gray to dull black, which is known as mulberry. A true jersey always have a black nose bordered by almost white muzzle. The jersey is relatively small in size but strong in frame. They are also known for their black feet which are much less prone to lameness. The brown Swiss cattle are known as the oldest of all dairy breeds. It was developed in the northeastern part of Switzerland. They are light brown in color with a creamy white muzzle and dark nose. It is a dark blue eye pigmentation which helps the breed to resist extreme solar radiation. The breed has a horn and polled cattle and when horned, the horns are short and white growing dark towards the top. This breed has a double utility as they are used for dairy and beef purposes providing good milk and meat output. Now let us identify some of the popular tropical breeds of dairy cattle. The Sahiwal originated in the dry Punjab region which lies along the Indian-Pakistani border. Today, Sahiwal is one of the best dairy breeds in hot country and considered as the heaviest milker of all Zebu breeds. Their color is generally reddish-brown with varying amounts of white on the neck and the underline. Tar Parkar originated in Pakistan and is used for both milk production and as draft animal. The usual color of the cattle is white or gray. In males, the gray color may deepen particularly on the fore and hind quarters. All along the backbone, there is a light gray stripe. Horns, when present, are set well apart. We already discussed that Red Sindhi is an example of a tropical beef cattle breed, but it is also good to point that they are also classified as a tropical dairy cattle breed. They are hardy, heat resistant, and they produce high milk yield. And as I recall, they have this deep, rich red color but can vary from yellowish brown to dark brown. We also have our very own Philippine native cattle. These are indigenous cattle breed found throughout the Philippines. The genetic background of the Philippine native cattle includes the Banteng, a humpless Chinese yellow cattle, and the Iberian cattle coming from both Mexico and Spain. This hybrid background might explain the high fertility of this breed. Our native cattle are used primarily for milk and as a draft animal. The males of this breed exhibited a small hump. The color ranges from gray to brown to fawn with white spotting on some animals. There are four breed types that have been recognized. The Batanes Black on the Batanes Island, Batangas in southwestern Luzon, Ilocos in northwestern Luzon, and Iloilo on Panay Island. And that ends our discussion on the common breeds of dairy cattle. You may now proceed to the part 4 of this module which will discuss the breeds of the different river and swamp type buffaloes.